What's up, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well as per usual. All right, all right. So these energies have been a little hectic. Yeah, they've been running through the ringer. You know, two out of three nights so far. I've woken up at two, three o'clock in the morning. That's a lot. I wake up every day around two or three o'clock in the morning. And, you know, I'm just around. Nonetheless, I feel we need some guidance. We need some true guidance. You feel me? So let's pull out the animal spirit to help us out. You feel me? They help us out all the time. They tell us what to do for in line, for out of line, and how to get back into alignment. You feel me? So, without further ado, ready, shuffled, and split the decks. Tap, tap. Let's go. Let's let's get some guidance on what's on what's going on. What else looks like? We got the lizard. That's a beautiful picture at the bottom of the deck. All right. So please, let's get some guidance on these energies, on how to conduct ourselves. How to handle ourselves on what's going on. You know what I mean? Like let's get let's get some animal spirit guidance, you feel me? Animal spirit guidance, please. Oh, they always give us the best guidance. That's a lie. All of the guidance is the best guidance. Because it's the advice that's needed at the appropriate time. You feel me? It all has value. So let's see what beautiful animal spirit would like to bless us with some guidance today. You feel me? So let's go. Oh, it looks like it's getting windy. It's getting choppy outside. Oh, man. The winds are picking up big time. All right. All right. Maybe somebody's thoughts are all over the place. You know, mental swords. Okay. Really loud. Wind chimes are on fleek. All right. We're going to go with the dragonfly. All right. We're going to go with the dragonfly. We're not going to take all the other ones. We're going to go with the dragonfly. Isn't that so beautiful? Look at that without that light beaming on it. Beautiful, right, guys? Popping. All right. So, para me, my turn. Triangle with the line across the top. All right. We got it. At least the area. We got the B. Remember, these things are out of whack. Yes, they are. They're, they're, they're not in alphabetical order. So, it might take me a few minutes. All right. We're with the air. Let's see. Dragonfly, ma. Butterfly, bat. Do, do, do. Oh, man, here comes the thunder and the lightning. What's up, Firefly? I hope everybody's emotions are doing well right now. This isn't a time for us to be all over the place. Or is it? I don't know. Somebody's up in their feels. Definitely feel that. Somebody's definitely up in their feels. Let's see if I can find <laughs> this freaking dragonfly, dude. I bet it's the last one. We got the crow. We got the owl. Dude, where are you at, bro? Are you the last one? No, you're not. All right, cool. The dragonfly. Beautiful. Poppin'. All right, let's go. <clears throat> oh, I can't see over there. It's a little dark. All right, dragonfly. Master of light. Illusion and the mind. All right, the dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder and awe. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless or still? Dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation, situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so that the light of wisdom can shine through. When in balance, see clearly, joyful and magical. Beautiful. When out of balance, can't concentrate, busy mind. And to bring into balance, focus on the breath. Wow. Okay. All right, all right. Shout out to Draggy over here. Okay. Put them over there. All right. So what did we get from that? Did I? Did I? Did I get anything from that? Focus on my breathing. Bring us back into focus. Look at the situation from a different set of eyes. Or at least try to, because sometimes, you know, that Aries in me. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. We ain't doing that right now. We ain't doing that right now. You already know I shuffled, split, and did what we had to do. You feel me? We got the dragonfly energy over here blessing us. Thank you, spirit. So, let's see what we got. We got the king of wands. Somebody's moving forward and taking action. Mmm, the natural born leader in alpha. What is this? Queen of wands. Interesting. Very interesting. Anywho. Let's see how we can apply the guidance of the dragonfly to these energies that have been bombarding us. OMG, let's go. All right. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. 
It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a stormy night. I love the rain, so you know it's my favorite weather. And with all these energy shifts, um, I believe it's appropriate, the cleansing, at least to make myself feel better. I like to cry, so you know, I'm a cup guy. All right. Okay. All right, so something may need to be transformed. As Dragonfly also said, that we need to look at things from another set of eyes. All right. Maybe a situation is calling for us to forgive, right? Possibly to seize an opportunity to, you know, maybe, maybe even communicate, you know, take action. And also, there could be a possible soul contract that you need to work on. Anywho, let's go. Let me just say, it looks to me as if it's permanently ended right now. Okay, just wanted to say that. All right. Okay. All right, so we got what we got. What we got is a wounded warrior. Wow. Okay, so, wow. Um, for I'm getting a wounded warrior who is holding on for dear life right now. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so we got a wounded warrior who's holding on for dear life, right? A very vulnerable state this particular energy is in right now. Very fragile, very, I don't want to say frail, but you know, nonetheless, it's it's not pleasant. Um, let's, let's, let's just stick to the table. This energy is a little, yeah, exactly. I feel it. There's a shakeup. There's definitely a shakeup. And when I say all over the place, now I can get to detail. I just feel like everything is short. Um, nothing is as it seems. Nothing is steady. Nothing is consistent. Um, almost as if, well, he's clearly at the nine of wands, but nonetheless, he's pretty much carrying the entire burden and he's realizing and seeing it. Um, and it's physically exhausting. I don't see any sores up here, but if it's physically exhausting, you know, it's also eating up your mind too. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, exactly. Eating up your mind. Why? Because it's an, a betrayal. This particular energy has been through the mud. And then this announcement completely just, dare I say, ended his career. Right? All to collaborate, to work with. The Queen of Pentacles. Right? That's painful. That's a lot. That's a lot. But... Dragonfly is telling us to look at the situation from a different set of eyes. What possible set? No, I'm just playing. No, but real talk. What, what set of eyes could we possibly look at it from? We got a tower and we got a ten of swords. When all this energy was trying to do was work with a queen of pentacles. And this guy is a wounded warrior. Nine of, nine of wands. And was cut short by the queen of swords. Wow. Very good, very good. All right, so what else do I need to know? Or what else? Oh, yeah. The, the announcement uh, brought, up, brought upon a burden, illuminated a huge burden, right? And that's what brought the shake up, right? A burden was illuminated. Apparently, it may have been a burden that this other energy may have been holding on to that they may not have wanted to let go now that I look at it like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's talk about it. So this was a new situation. This was a new relationship. It was a fish in a cup. It was a, it was a cute fish in a cup. All right. It, it, it was just a fish in a cup. It was nothing serious. It was not serious, but it was new. It was genuine. It was kind hearted. It was light. It was playful. It was, it was cute. All right. So let's get into that. So there was an announcement made that this energy was a bit of a burden or there was some sort of burden. All right. There was some sort of burden made. Um, energy, you know, try to remain calm and cool. Keep their composure while, um, you know, facing this. Apparently, uh, they were left out in the cold. 
you know, they but again, they remain calm and cool. Uh, as they were picking up the pieces to whatever mess this tower actually left for this energy. Because just because we're not completely aware of what's going on doesn't mean that there's not stuff going on that they're working on. So, nonetheless, this particular energy is completely left. The Nine of Wands, remember I said they were probably holding the entire burden. Turns out they actually were holding an entire burden. Right? Okay, so... They're, they were left out in the cold. Situation is ended permanently. Done with the death card. And then the devil. The devil, I've got no idea what that's about. Right? Everything made sense until the devil. What are we... What is What is that? What is that? What is that? The devil. Let's see what the devil's about. The devil. Let's see what the devil is about. Alright. Wow. It looks like the energy who made the announcement was a high priestess, possibly a gifted individual. I mean, these are counterparts in the 5D, um, so that's popping. That's awesome. Um, but the one who made the announcement of the burden is a is a bit trapped in a mental imprisonment. It looks like they would like to redeem themselves with the Four of Pentacles and would like to offer a Page of Pentacles. So... To who? I'm so confused. There's no return here, so like... Ugh, I don't know, this energy is messy. Alright, anything else we need to talk about, Spirit? I just gotta finish up this little bit in my hand. Alright, we're good. Dudes, check this out, right? This wounded warrior? Check this out. Dude is like a freaking mastermind, a power manifester, a super manifester, mental manifester. No spells, no tricks, nothing to get this thing off the ground, just a thought. And he's aware of it. I only say he because it's a dude on the picture. Stop yelling at me. Okay, but nonetheless. This energy has, that's why they're so quiet into themselves, why they're short, because they know they can bring whatever they want into fruition. Unfortunately, this queen of pentacles had no idea the abundance of this energy. Mmm, shot herself in the foot, oh man, alright, 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 alright. Okay, so, <clears throat> so now over here, eight of swords stuck in their head. You know, because you released your burden. I mean, why would you be stuck in your head? That doesn't make sense to me. Honestly, that makes absolutely no sense. You should be happy. You don't have to deal with this. Anyway, let's go. All right, so here it comes. Why? I don't know. A romantic offer or an apology. All right? Wanting to heal a situation that was really hurtful. You know? Reconcile. You know what I mean? Really reconcile. And it looks like somebody is resting, thinking, and figuring out how to, I guess we could say, make it up to this wounded warrior. Who's also a nine of cups. Wow. So, so this energy, oh, and an ace of pentacles. Dude, This so this guy is a sweetheart. Sweet. And has been taken advantage of, ran all over, ran through the mud. And is emotionally satisfied within themselves. So it's as if every time this King of Swords opens up, he's hurt or left carrying a burden. He, I mean, King of Swords looks for truth and clarity. He's a jack of all trades. He, he's a very skilled man, very skilled mind. He can make anything happen, right? Anything, anything, anything. 
But you don't become these energies by having it handed to you. It's earned, baby. It's earned. You feel me? Alright. Okay. So we got the memo. It's earned. Okay? He earned his stripe being a master manifester. Very good. Very good. Anything else we need, Spirit? Okay. 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 I feel you. Yeah, I felt that. We're gonna leave this like this. That way, because I felt it, but I didn't wanna. I don't wanna. We're not gonna. Okay, so it looks to me as if Queen of Pentacles either was released or did the releasing. Either way, this Queen of Pentacles, I believe, is the King of Swords, right? Passion and New Beginning. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay. You're seeing this different. Queen of Pentacles is now seeing this different. Seeing this as a passionate pursuit. All right, You're seeing this fish in a cups as somebody to work with, some a, ma a manifester, All right? A master manifester at that. I don't know what that Ace of Cups is. Alright, All right, so All right, so The Wounded Warrior Is definitely taking a break on the whole Two of Cups relationship soulmate thing Or at least they're choosing to Not engage in that Very good, I would have did the same thing This other energy has moved towards, has chosen over the King of Swords. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I'm tired of these scandalous energies, man. All right. It's a faded event, nonetheless. You know, somebody is managing, juggling, going back and forth the idea of a partnership, a relationship. There's many options, there's many uh, candidates. And uh, somebody is ending up heartbroken. Either way. So, hey, whoever the synergy is with all the options is is the culprit, is the problem. Okay? All right, yeah. And that's what's being illuminated with the sun right there. All the juggling, all the going back and forth. All right. Basically, there's a lot of competition that's now being brought to the light, right? It was faded. It was gonna. It was gonna have to come out at some point in time, anyway. So we don't. We don't really care. But what's being illuminated right now is the back and forth, the juggling, the other people in there, the seven of cups, the many other options. All right, homie's also a king of cups. All right. Passion and pursuit we were talking about and the ace of pentacles. Yeah, so basically homie dropped homie dropped the conflict and competition to pursue something better for himself. Again, with the king and with the kings of swords and cups. Very balanced energies, balancing the thoughts with the emotions. I love it. Taking accountability for not only their thoughts but their emotions. I love it. I'm like I'm very proud of this energy. I'm very, very proud of this energy. Wow. All right. What else we got? Spirit, success, Nine of Pentacles, Pre Empress. All right. So. Somebody may be working or strategizing a plan to take the leap of faith to put in the work. To start a journey of work, right? Possibly, I don't know. 
Anywho, let's see what this is right here. Boop. All right, so success. All right, so it looks like there will be success for whoever's fleeing the drama and the nonsense with the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, yes, okay, looks like they'll be closing out a cycle. Possible traveling victory, all that other stuff. Waiting for their ships to come in. They're an empress. This is an empress. This master over here is a true empress. Wow. King of Swords, King of Cups. Empress. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. What else we got? Anything else we got, Spirit? There's another woman with the Queen of Wands. All right, again with the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come in and put the work in. I believe this other woman, if I'm not mistaken, is the same energy who caused all the conflict. They're questioning their emotional fulfillment within themselves. What is going to satisfy them? They can't get that right within themselves. That's interesting. Very interesting. And I guess they're questioning all that because this other energy, Empress, knows her worth and dropped her sword and moved in a complete different direction. Right? Seems as if Somebody was guarded and defensive and at an advantage for a new beginning. Right? So the crazy thing is they're actually mirroring each other. Right? We got the King of Wands. I believe he came out. The King and Queen of Wands. We have the King and Queen of Cups. Did the Queen of Swords come out? Because I believe she did. And she cut this energy. I believe that's what I said. She cut this energy. So it's it's a lot, man. This is, this is a lot of pressure. And the, this energy actually has the audacity to want to circle back, my dude. Yes, they want to circle back. Like, you didn't even realize the energy that was in front of you. But it's all good. Life is about what? I don't know. I was I was genuinely asking you. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, dude. I'm just playing. All right, let's see what else we got. Anything else you need for us, Spirit? This rain sounds beautiful. I'm about to go outside and enjoy it. So I'm about to go do an offering for my ancestors. All right, so it looks as if somebody's seeing things clearly with the Ace of Swords. It's looking as if. Interesting. Interesting. So, Queen of Cups is actually the pursuer in the relationship. The person who's giving the pe the pentacle for commitment. Right? 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 They rejected this energy. Okay? Released it with the hanged man. Right? Remember? Okay? So, now it's clear. We have... I just want, I just want it to be, you know, seen... Who this energy is, All right? We and then I believe it's the King of Wands, cause the Queen of Wands is over there. But nonetheless, you see the lineup right there, and the King of Wands embodies all masculine energy, except when it comes down to finances. Then they're very giving, right? This energy is popping, mostly expressive. A nurturing giving person somebody who is the most abundant beautiful feminine energy in the deck the the tip top class you feel me somebody who's of law and order truth and clarity a master manifester man this other energy must not have been built for this energy real talk that's that's all that's all i can say like i see the queens i see the king and that's nice but <clears throat> mm, i just can't man they're killing it bro Wow, Spirit, anything else we need to know? Two of Swords, something we may not be seeing. 
somebody in regret, somebody being rather sorrowful. I don't know, might be the wounded warrior over here. He may be in regret, sad because, you know, it, it didn't make it anywhere. He wasted time, you feel me? Queen of Pentacles, very abundant woman, you feel me? She's very nurturing and grounded. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, maybe they're upset that they got rejected, but I'm also really strongly getting the urge that this Queen of Cups is upset that she closed the cycle out with this energy. Again, with the, uh, I don't believe she understood what would come from this. I don't believe she knew that this was a, an Empress. Again, I believe she thought this was a Page of Cups, something you can play with, something that's childish, immature, petty, nothing serious. Alright, anything else we need to know, Spirit, before we wrap this beautiful reading up? Alright, looks like we're done, guys. Looks like we are done. Oh, yep, yeah, we're seeing things clearly. Definitely seeing things clearly. And it looks to me as if somebody maybe having some circulating thoughts, anxiety. Again, we don't wish this on our worst enemy rude it's not cool man we don't do that but anyway these thoughts are circulating their feelings if they may have made a bad decision they're really seeing this energy clearly for who they are beautiful right it's fully illuminated with the sun all right really seeing what this situation could have been oh ace of cups was this here before was this here before i don't know yeah it was there before it was definitely there before okay cool so let's see what we got all right so we got so they're seeing things clearly, right? Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. So basically, they're seeing how victoriously this Empress walked away from this situation. Wow. They feel as if the Empress actually won the situation, how she walked away. Huh? At least that's how they see it with this Ace of Swords. And they're actually regretful because I don't think they expected that. Nope, 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 too much. Oh, see that lightning going off? Oh, there we go. You remember how I was saying, you know, I don't think it's a return. I don't think it's a return. Nothing in here is about a return. Look, we got right here. Somebody is waiting for an opportunity to make, to make a return to somebody who walked away and they rejected Past life soulmate or not, you feel me? I ain't with it. I ain't with it, bro. Queen of Swords is the one attempting to make a return. There may be some sort of dialogue coming in, an exchange, movement, travel. I don't know, to the King of Wands. I told you he was the King of Wands. Okay, process of elimination. We already knew that. All right, we knew that. All right. Okay, anything else? Anything else? Wounded warrior. What about him? Not this beautiful. You want to fall. Alright. Dialogue towards the wounded warrior. It seems. Oh, so that they can move things towards calmer waters, it seems. Interesting. Anything else? researching figuring out how to get to that ten of pentacles baby all right oh wow 2858 on the clock oh my goodness all right we're gonna leave this one here i'm not even gonna put this on patreon because this will be too long and take up way too much space i'm gonna put this on youtube all right guys so uh yeah i'm about to get out in that rain boy i'm about to go do what's best for me you heard you feel me then i'm gonna eat watch some telly and uh, do what I do. So, as you already know, we did this, yo. I'm sorry, I had to look across the board real quick. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't move on just yet. I have to give huge, huge, huge big ups to this energy right here. Can we, can we just acknowledge this empress? Could be a man or woman. I don't even know. We can't tell by all of the energies. But we do see that they mostly embody masculine energy. Their thought process. Their emotions. 
their action, their drive. And then when it comes to abundance, they're rather nurturing. When it comes to uh, their pentacles, they're, they're giving. They're, they're giving when it comes to their emotions. They openly express their emotions. They're short when it comes to their thoughts because their thoughts may not uh, be the nicest. You know, it's a sword in his hand. So, shout out, shout out to this Empress, yo. This is a beautiful balance of energies. I mean, whoever this Empress is, you need a spa day. You deserve it. And you're a hermit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, I can't, I can't. Thank you for blessing me with your energy, with your presence, for being on this table. Oh, my goodness. We got to go. 30.45 on the clock. Y'all are, why are y'all not kicking me off? Y'all let me talk this much. I love you guys so much. I really, truly do. Thank you guys for being with me. You feel me? Shout out to you. Shout out to me. Shout out to we. Bro, at the end of the day, we got this. And if, if ain't nobody told you or told you, at the end of the day, it's about us, and we got this. You feel me? We've been thugging it out for months now. We've been thugging it out for years. And finally, finally, we have a community where we can express ourselves. Finally, we can truly get insight and see what's going on. And we here. We're in our power. We are in our purpose. We are doing what's best, and nothing is holding us back except ourselves. So, with that being said, love and light. Go enjoy that rain. I love you, and have a wonderful one. Real talk, guys. 3131. We out.